once you break free from that, you just like it's so it's so weird that you just don't realize that you're putting them on yourself. And it's just like oh, I just can't get over it. And I feel like I'm going in the loop about it. But it's so important that you don't get caught up in like these things. If you find yourself not happy where you are, you that's obviously your instinct telling you that you need to change. Hey guys, and welcome to a new episode of the Ghostline Podcast. Hope you are. Thanks for joining. Um, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about being grateful and having gratitude. And we're going to go over some exercises that can help. Um, yeah, they're really good. I tried them. And I recently got caught up in life, you know, like we all do. And I completely forgot about them. I was like, oh my god, why do I feel so anxious? Why do I feel like, you know, life is not worth living? And like, why is this and why is that? So I can't, I came to realize actually that I wasn't being, you know, good to myself, kind to myself, I wasn't taking that time to um, take a minute. Like, and we do, and we all forget it. We all forget that time just to take for ourselves to do the best that we can do. For ourselves and that's like a self-love practice you know if you're not doing that then it's really gonna pile up you know it's really gonna pile up and you're gonna lose your shit basically you're gonna lose your shit and it's just you're not gonna feel you know good about what you do and who you are and you're gonna miss you know <laughs> i say puzzle pieces but like parts of you that make you you know incredible because you're not taking that time to recognize that you have so much to be grateful for like so much and yeah we do get caught up in the life <laughs> the thing called life and it really drags us down um just like I mean just take a second for yourself just to you know appreciate how far you've gone so far because we do we do forget that um you know everything we've been through is an achievement not a lot of people actually can get as far as you've gotten to i don't know my grammar but no nobody you know there's not a lot of people that have got as far as you and that's such a grateful thing to be you know grateful for is <laughs> a grateful thing to be grateful for what it's amazing to recognize that it's amazing to hold on to that because people think that you know these goals that they set for themselves some people I've been reading that it might not actually be healthy to set goals for yourself because it can actually leave you with a feeling of you know you're not you know you're not good enough you know you're not worthy enough to achieve the goals that you want to in life because you haven't reached them that means that you you have no value in who you are and that's absolutely not true you are so magnificent may i say <laughs> you sir <laughs> and people get so caught up okay you're brilliant in who you are and just because sometimes you've not reached that goal that's okay maybe you'll put it on the shelf or put it aside for another day um i was speaking to my friend uh, one of my best friends josh he was like he was like yeah i basically get that it's not perfect it's absolute garbage and even the way you just said that it's like it's garbage but that's because um i guess we're both perfectionists and like using that as an example we put so if we have something you know whatever it is like a project that we're doing or just like a task a goal and if we can't reach it if it doesn't look if it's not working out the way it's like if it's not working out the way it should be working out that means it's absolutely pointless garbage not perfect you know we're blaming ourselves as like because we're shits basically we're all shits when that's not true at all it's just maybe you just need to take a step back maybe you need to not overanalyze but find that solution to the problem that's going on um just take time for yourself you know self-love practice it be 
be careful. <laughs> I was going to say, be careful. No, um, be caring to yourself, you know, because nobody's perfect. Um, there's not, there's not really such a thing. And I know that because I play golf and they always say like, you know, <laughs> golfers are not perfect. There's no such thing as perfect. And you really have to get rid of that idea. And I think I actually said to my golf coach, instead of being perfect, I think I just want to be the very best at everything that I can do. And I'm not sure if that's healthy yet. <laughs> I have a feeling in the back of my head that I'm like, okay, that might not be healthy. But, you know, I'm just going to go for it anyway. <laughs> I believe in me. Um, and if that's wrong, well, I'll report back. You know, like, that that's okay. That's what life's all about. Like, I mean, how boring would it be if, you know, you fell out your mum's vagina, started walking, got the perfect you know day got the perfect job got the perfect life just like boom how bored would you be would you you know you would just feel like there would be something missing i mean life does throw all these freaking challenges at you that make you hate it but it really is important to step back and be grateful for the things that you do have um, one of my friend Kim, she said to me actually, because I was so caught up, she she said, you know, why don't you focus on the things that you do have instead of the things that you don't have? <laughs> and I was like, no, impossible. Uh, yeah, I was stubborn. But focus on the things that you do have. Let's take a minute, because there's not a lot of people that have a lot of things, okay? I mean, there's not a lot of people that have like hair. And you probably have hair. <laughs> there's not a lot of people that want hair, you know? Um, there's not a lot of people, you know, there's people like I've been, I, I was a person that actually, the reason why I take my financial status so seriously is because I've once been, you know, sat on a bloody... I think it was damp, like in a damp, like house on a mattress, just a mattress on the floor. And I think there were crates on it or something. I think it was something stupid. Like, I think they made a bed out of doors. Okay. They made a bed out of doors and a desk out of doors. And I mean, like, use what you can with what you have where you are. But honestly, if you go on Facebook Marketplace, it uh, gives that shit away for free. Like, a lot of it for free. But I don't think they had that back then. I think they had, like, Gumtree and, like, Free Cycle back then. But I was very... I didn't know why I just was so oblivious to the idea that I could have the best thing. And this goes for you. I'm not, like, all about myself. I'm just telling you my story, like, my message, my mess is now like my message for you guys i'm not all about me trust me oh damn i wish i was damn i'm amazing no i'm kidding oh. <laughs> um, but it is great to you know have this like have an idea that you deserve it like you deserve it you know i always say like if you're a parks and recs man where they're all like treat yourself <laughs> <laughs> they have a day where they go around is like treat yourself like one day of the year it's like treat yourself no expense treat yourself and that's exactly what you should be doing every day well probably I mean to your budget you know but take care of yourself and you know get what you need get what you need for comfort when I was living in a really damp apartment I knew I, I was actually riddled, rid, riddled ridiculed fucking full of anxiety in that apartment you know it was a really tough time it was a really tough time and it's like there's proof like i'm proof that you can get out of that and i have an amazing room right now i'm just it's all amazing really if i think about it i know i can do better and i will do better one day but for now this is okay this is what i have and it's better than what most have um i'm not being like <laughs> yes better than this have you but it is and it's so sorry and people have to realize that they can achieve what they want their dreams their goals you know their achievable goals are absolutely achievable 
obviously it's in the it's in the name but i was i used to live in a damp place there was not really a cupboard the furniture was absolute shit damp got damp on a lot of my clothes a lot of the nice things i have like purse that like a pence case sorry because i was at uni um that my friend made me out of her little, little um what they call it swatches little cabbage pieces if you um know a little bit by fabric or like patchwork she made me like a little patchwork pencil case and still got the dump on and i refused to throw it away because it's cute <laughs> um but yeah i just got like a lot of my stuff so i got rid of the doors and then i was on a mattress on the floor but then i didn't know how to manage money so you know my friends had to buy <laughs> some of my friends had bought me food and it was like the low end you know i think it was like tesco value or whatever like as the price sell like a white can and i was i remember eating a can of beans and i think it was a turning point for me i was in a can of beans i was 24 and i was on in a damp <laughs> moldy room on a mattress eating you know like the beans that my friends bought me and I was like do you know what I think I think this is you know I think I just have a little bit better than this I, I was just like I was 24 and you know I went from you know quite a not a silver spoon but probably like a silver plated spoon in my mouth um being taken care of a lot and that's the thing is like nobody took care of me well no everyone did take care of me that I didn't know how to take care of myself so you know i had to learn how to do that <laughs> and it, it sucked but now i'm at a point where i can absolutely do that you know it did come down to a lot of self-love but you know i just remember I was, I was 24 so what the fuck happened you know why am i here why am i doing this to myself you know and i i had to go for a few steps and a lot of people helped me like my friends like my friend was like what the fuck are you living in come live with me i've got a spare room just live here just live here <laughs> and she did and that helped me a lot but even so i was still like my mental state was not to the fullest potential it could be and this is the reason you guys why i'm so obsessed with you know being the best that you know i can be and what is it for you guys what is it in your journey that makes you want to why are you here why you know why are you listen to this bullshit called my podcast now i'm kidding why are you listen to this amazing information flowing through your ears <laughs> fucking hell um why are you why are you here why are you listening to this what is it that you want from your life why do you feel like you deserve better because you do deserve better and i know you deserve better um there's a reason you're here what is it what is it you guys you know you can go from a to b like i can help you with that i've got coaching classes but that's you know i'll leave a link in the bio because i'm not really you know selling these classes they're there for you if you want them okay but you know what's your a to b how are you gonna get there you know you got sometimes you just gotta go through a whole lot of mess to get to your b sometimes and that's okay and if people can help you let them the only person really that can help you is yourself and sometimes we don't realize that we're the ones that are holding us back the most i recently me again i recently discovered this in one of my diaries i write so much in my diary because i suffer from intrapersonal intelligence so sometimes it's like i don't know what i want and how i'm feeling um we all have our intelligences like if you want to look up the eight intelligences um it makes sense to why people have common sense yeah they're dumb as fuck or people are so intelligent they're like rocket scientists and they have no common sense it's like that's the reason why um you know that's that's the answer to that because i often hear people say you know smart as fuck but there's no common sense it's like yeah well 
all of our brains are differently. They're all wired differently. And that's okay. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with who you are and what you're doing. If you're murdering animals or people, probably is a bit wrong. Um, not acceptable. I won't I will, I will not promote that on this podcast. Um but I will promote, you know, self love and the love we give to others. Um the inner peace man motivation you know being crystal clear on your purpose in life that's why that's why it's called the crystalline podcast you know we need to understand ourselves and what we're doing here and how unique we actually all really are because that's what the world needs the world needs that to (laughs) be a beautiful and better place man (laughs) um be a much better place and you can help with that. And I know sometimes we don't feel like that. We just don't feel like we're good enough. We don't feel like that. We have the power, <laughs> the power to do it. We don't feel like we are good enough to do it. Well, and I'll tell you what we are. We are the only one that's limiting yourself is you. And like I said, you might not even know it. Like, yeah, like I said recently, like I was limiting myself on what I wanted to do because I had a story in my head that this is what I'm meant to do. I was like, this is what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to do this and this is blah, blah, blah. But there were so many ro- roadblocks in my way, actually, that I didn't <laughs> really understand why. I was like, why is this not working for me? This is what I'm meant to do. And yeah when it gets to a standstill like that it's so clear it's crystal clear that this isn't right that's not how it's supposed to be there's something else that's better for you out there and and that's okay and it's a really hard thing to accept because we're so stubborn on the stories that we tell ourselves that you know it's like i'm meant to be this i'm meant to be this i'm meant to be this this is what i'm meant to be and sometimes the universe has got like a different plan. That's infuriating. It's infuriating. <laughs> it's what it is. But you know, that's okay. You just gotta like, you know, it's like the the rapid river thing. It's like, are you gonna flow with it or are you gonna try and swim against it? And for some people that can be quite successful, but if it gets to the point where it's affecting your mental health that's where you should just let go and stop trying to swim upstream and in rapids in in a horrible environment you know you should just let it all flow and that's what you should be doing with your life okay like not many people understand that their life purpose is it's already happening for them and your life purpose changes no matter what you do there are some people that don't stick to one thing there are people that are convinced that they have to do one thing for the rest of their lives and yeah if you want to i mean there are doctors that basically train for the majority of their lives and that's what they do for the rest of their lives they're like you know people in a profession that do these things for the rest of their lives but they also do other things you know that fulfill them and make them happy and that's like that's what they you know that's what they want to do i mean like you know you got athletes that don't just do one thing you know they could do like yeah if you want to play tennis or whatever but you know some of them have like they probably have like podcasts or like they have books out on like their other interests that they want to do it's not what you want to do in life is it's not limited okay it's not limited so being grateful for the things that you have is you know it like accepting your story not letting it limit you (laughs) just being grateful for who you have in your life and if you don't you know want them you can you know kick them out just get out of them just get out of them that's okay too if people make you feel like you're not good enough you can just just shoot them away that's fine being grateful recently i was 
I spoke to an amazing YouTuber and she said, you know, do what you can do. Don't, you know, don't get caught up in everything that you can't because that's just not healthy. You know, like I said, the limits, the limits, don't worry. You're only putting them on yourself, don't worry. Once you break free from that, you just like it's so it's so weird that you just don't realize that you're putting them on yourself. And it's just like, oh, I just can't get over it. And I feel like I'm going in a loop about it. But it's so important that you don't get caught up in like these things. If you find yourself not happy where you are, you that's obviously your instinct telling you that you need to change. You can be grateful for the things that you have. You can do what you can with what you have where you are. Do the things that you can control. Be who you want to be. Smile, guys. Gratitude. Yeah, let's do it. Being grateful is, is one of the keys to happiness. It's one of the keys to rid yourself of, of depression and, and anxiety. It really is a beautiful thing. Like, we can all do it. I'm going to let you guys in on a practice. So, and I recently forgot about this until the other day and it's already made a difference. So if we do feel like anxious in our lives and we do feel, you know, not, we're not good enough. We we're putting ourselves through a lot. You know, we don't understand ourselves. Our goals aren't achievable, which they are <laughs> one way or another, maybe not now probably later, who knows, as long as you've still got it in your mind. The three things practice is so important. I recently forgot about this, but I noticed that I was feeling anxious. I noticed that I was just depressed. I was getting caught up. I was overthinking. I just didn't feel good enough, just full stop. And I remembered, I was like, oh yeah, three things. When you go to sleep at night, probably before you go to sleep, just write down the three things that you're grateful for. So, okay, I'm grateful for, you know, I don't know, this apple I ate today, not many people get an apple. You know, I'm grateful for a present my sister bought me. I'm grateful for this joke that my colleague told me today. And all you have to do is write down three things and write, and you can do the why if you want. Why did why were you grateful for them? Honestly, this really helps. And you can get apps for it. You can just write it down on a piece of paper. You can have a mindful journal <laughs> journal like me. But I also have an app that I just play every night. And it's so important for you to do that. Set a notification on the app and just do it. Just do it. Just do it. You know? Because it will make a difference whether now or in six months. They say in six months is when it will really work. And you could be at your f full potential. Like You can be so grateful for the things that you have. You can be so happy in who you are and what you're doing. Just try this practice. It's a really good practice, guys. Honestly, it's so good. But yeah, so I'm going to leave you with that practice. If you guys want my coaching glasses, they are on Amphi. You do have to sign up. Um, at quite a good rate. If you don't like the price, let me know. Be like, bitch, I want to pay a penny. Sure, why not? <laughs> but just talk to me. Let me know how you're feeling. Um, Instagram is wank, but we're getting better. Tammy's going to be here in like soon. <laughs> and we're going to talk about um, crap. <laughs> no, we're going to talk about, you know, our achievements, um, how you can learn from them. Anything that you guys want to talk about, just let me know. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, but we try to find out the best thing to talk about and, you know, just go out there and do it. And if anyone's listening that needs it, perfect, great. That's what we want. But you guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope you guys have got something from this. Let me know. 
I really wish you the best and just be grateful. Try this practice. It's such a simple thing. It's such a simple thing. Even if you think about it, you know, just have a five minute reflection. Just say like, okay, I'm actually grateful for this. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for this. Just go for it. There's no worries. Okay. Really important because you can feel like life is not worth living if you're not grateful for the little things and trust me like i've been there my friends there at the minute um i'm trying to ram this three grateful things in their face like do it um because it's just and you are so worthy of it guys like if you think you're not like you know if you think it's like, oh yeah, but blah, blah, blah. you can tell yourself whatever excuse, but you need to understand that this is, you know, giving yourself your own little self value, your own little worth, in is the best, you know, is the most important thing. Giving yourself that little bit of self love, to, you know, you know, for yourself to reach your potential, to, you know, understand like what you're doing here and why you guys <laughs> it's really important that you understand that it's really important that you know you you are yourself on this planet this planet you know planet earth terror whatever <laughs> because it's a beautiful thing it's absolutely necessary for you to be yourself okay so do this practice let me know if you guys want to talk. Um, thank you so much for listening, you guys. And I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys for listening. That could be on my today thing. I'm grateful for you guys listening. Um, so I hope you learned something. And my name's Summer Clark, and this has been the Crystalline Podcast. Bye.